Hi there, how are you? Today I wanted to have a look at The Marvellous Georgia. It's a, just a beautiful song, it's so much fun to play over. There's some beautiful changes to play over. The whole thing is just, just fantastic. So let's get straight into the chords. So first up, let's just run the A section. We're gonna start off here with an F. E-shaped bar chord, first fret. Then we're gonna s A7. We just walked up through F there. Uh, sorry, through F, through G. And then we're gonna hit a D minor. We're gonna pull out your little finger there, basically playing a D minor seven, but we're gonna put it in the bass on C. So we're playing D minor seven over C. And then we're gonna hit a B half diminished. So uh, that's kind of that's D minor, like an A minor bar chord. And then we're gonna put, this is like the only plane that's left in the sky. All right, so let's get back to that. D minor, D minor, seven over a C bass, then a half diminished, which is so that D minor is an A, a minor shaped bar chord. And then we're gonna play B half diminished, basically a seven, eight, seven, seven. Then we're gonna hit a, a B flat minor seven. And then we're gonna go to E flat nine. Okay, so that first part, we've got one, two, three, four, A seven, two, three, four, D minor, over C, B flat, uh, B half diminished, B flat, E flat nine. All right, then we're gonna strike uh, A minor seven in the second line. You can go to D seven here, but I always quite like this voicing. It looks like a C seven, but kind of in the wrong place. Here's your bass note. So we've got A minor seven. Put that one there if you're feeling like it. That's a D seven. Then we've got G minor seven. First time ending here, C seven. And then A minor seven. D7 again, G minor seven, third fret, E minor shape, bar chord. And then we're gonna go for a, a C7 with a flat nine. So here's C7. Always with the nines, it's easy to remember. You just basically go a tone up from the root, right? So a nine of C is D, and we need to make that flat. So, D flat there. That chord is two, uh, three, two, three, two. Okay. All right. Then we're going to loop around to the beginning again. We get F. A7. D minor. Over C. Half diminished. B half diminished. And then we've got B flat, E flat. And then we're going to hit an A minor seven. And then D7, and then we're gonna to switch to the second time ending, which is G minor seven, C7, F major, B flat, F major, and then A7. All right. And that takes us into the uh, B section. So this is a lovely, lovely, lovely thing, um, a pretty common sort of thing to drop note here is D. We're going to play a, a D minor here and then we're just gonna, basically going to drop that through the chord so it's going to get D minor, D minor with a major 7 so that it's a D minor chord but with a major 7, that one there. So how you can do that you can either do it with uh, so leaving your bar at 5 and then get those guys do that. I must say I never really that into that I always just put my first second finger flat and just make sure I don't hit that top one so the fingers there are five seven six six yeah so we got D minor and minor major seven D minor seven and then we're gonna hit a B flat seven and then an A seven then we're gonna hit a D minor again same chords. Dun, dun. That's a G7 there. Then we're going to go again, D minor. And then we're going to go for an E7 
seven there. And then A minor, D seven, G seven, G minor seven, C seven. And then uh, you go all the way around and repeat exactly that section. So you play the first time ending, second time ending in the A section. In the B section, you just play that through. At the end of the B section, we're gonna to go to coda. So we've got basically, uh, we're basically simply like a coda verse chord. So we're gonna go F, A7, then D minor. changing the rhythm slightly or one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and bottom two lines and then we've got F to kind of same move as we did before so F go there you know F sorry yeah and then uh, go for a Minor seven, D seven, G minor seven, C seven. The chart here, I've got a one of those. That's an F major seven. So play there. You could play, or you could go for like the most jazziest of all, the six nine. So we've basically got eight, seven, seven, eight that it go like that. All right, so. Right, so that's the chords. Um, what we're gonna do now is just have a bit of a think about some sort of runs and solo-y sort of stuff you can do. Um, look, it's mostly in F major. Um, obviously there's a few sections where you really need to think about it because the chords move around. But a, a great way is actually just by playing the melody actually at the beginning. So you see something like that, where it's very simple. We're here in um, the fifth, from the fifth fret, and I just really play. That's the first play the right note there. And just coming back down into F there. So that's one idea. Um, another idea, of course, is that you could take it a sort of bluesy approach. So let's move up into here, into the 10th fret. So, you know, something like that, we're playing in that uh, D minor pentatonic position there. And then just adding the major scale notes so see what I mean um, well you could take a more sort of traditional jazz approach to dropping the bends out so you could play something like here we are again in the same position some more exercises stuff you might have learnt. So that kind of thing. It's quite nice. You know those interval exercises where you can kind of play. They're always nice little runs to break up break up a section. Um, 
What else could we do? Come up with a section. We've got F. Play over the chords. Here's an A7. And then D minor. C, B, B flat. See what I mean? So I just played the chord tones there from that beginning section. So something like play, you play all arpeggios, you know. Seven D minor. That kind of thing. You can get around a lot of different ideas. And then I guess I guess the main thing is that you're really just trying to uh, put something that is memorable. So sometimes if you play a uh, play a, a lick that you like, the best thing is just to play it again. So that you have that way, that way it becomes sort of a memorable part. That's particularly apt in that B section where we played over the B over the D minor. And then the major, minor major seven, and then that. So something like where you have. You do the same. And then the D minor again. E minor, E7 underneath. So um, I guess you can see that there's a, a lot of different options there. So just as a, a summary, I guess, uh, the things I played were sort of minor pentatonics, I played some chord tones, I played some arpeggios. Um, there's really a whole range of things you can do which, uh, which are just great fun and you're going to have a, a great time. Anyway, so thanks very much for watching. Please do subscribe and uh, click the bell to get regular notifications. There's a new lesson every Saturday. Check out my Patreon page to support the channel. That would be really appreciated. Uh, there's different tiers of uh, available stuff you can get from charts to exclusive videos all the way up to one-on-one -on -one guitar lessons with me. Enjoy checking out this track. Thanks. Bye.